After a year of delays, Ryan Reynolds' Free Guy finally is gonna hit theaters this month. So let's talk about it. When a background character in a video game decides he wants to be a hero, he must team up with a girl in the real world in order to save the video game before it goes offline. Now this is a movie I've been looking forward to for a while because it's an original concept for a film. It's not an adaptation of anything, but it was one of the victims of 2020 and got pushed back over a year. We're finally able to see it. Real quick, before I tell you what I thought about it, be sure to join me down below in the comments section. Let me know how excited are you for this film, and if you've seen it, what did you think about it? Let me know down below in the comments section, and let's get started talking about the good. And right off the bat, it's just a great, concept for a movie. About two thirds of the film takes place inside of this video game world, and that just provides so many opportunities for wild, crazy action sequences, insane slapstick humor to take place. And you can buy into it because they've created a scenario where it works and it makes sense. And even when there's like wild, crazy graphical things happening, that's what's supposed to take place in this sort of context. But beyond that, the movie gives a good logical reason within the plot for why these things are taking place. There are rules and logic which put boundaries around what can take place. Another great thing about the film, of course, is Ryan Reynolds. He's just so good at playing man children. And in the case of this movie, there's just this naivety about him that just makes him so fun and likable as all this crazy stuff happens all around him. And of course, of course, his comedic timing is always on point, but really everyone in the movie does their parts really well. They're fun, they're lively. The human characters aren't designed to be these big flashy people, but they're just relatable enough, human enough, that they ground this story that is otherwise very fantastical because we're in a video game. But even the grounded human characters have avatars in the video game, so even they get to do wild and crazy things at certain points in time in the film. The other thing about this movie is that it touches on a full spectrum of emotions. Of course, there's a bunch of over-the-top action. Of course, you've got the Ryan Reynolds humor, but it's a movie with a gigantic heart. And that really is the big surprise here. It's a story about life love and finding your purpose in a very unexpected place. One more great thing about this movie, there's some really nice cameos in this movie. Some of them are very overt. Other ones, I didn't even notice them. I just caught them while I was watching the credits. But there's just some real nice little surprises. Tons of Easter eggs for video game fans, as well as some nice little nuggets uh, related to pop culture involved in it. All in all, a movie with a ton of entertainment and also a ton of heart but well, we got a couple problems here, so let's move on to the mixed aspects of the film. And this isn't necessarily a good or a bad thing, but this very clearly felt like a lingering Fox project converted into a Disney film. It has a little bit of edge in the humor that you don't normally find in a Disney film. This is very much PG-13 Ryan Reynolds pushing the edge of what he can get away with without going into an R. But then there's all these other points in time that very overtly add the Disney into this film. But even the way it does this is a little bit awkward because the vast majority of this movie is kind of its own pop culture. It's its own invented video game. It doesn't overtly reference movies and TV shows for the most part. And then it makes a couple very overt references to some Disney properties that very much call your attention to it. Granted, one of these moments is one of the absolute best moments in the film, but you could just tell it didn't start out as a Disney project. They converted it over to one later in the process. From there, let's move on to the bad. And the big thing here is that the movie has a bit of a suspension of disbelief problem when it comes to the real world aspects of the film. Naturally, because so much of the movie takes place inside of a video game, it allows for a bunch of crazy shenanigans to take place. And I think they came up with a reason for why video game characters are behaving the way that they are. But when it starts trying to have conflict taking place in the real world that affects the video game world, 
I think some of the logic of it didn't quite fit for me, as if they needed to spend more time trying to make sense of how the mechanics of the real world actually worked. All throughout the entire movie, the programmers of the video game don't know what's going on in the video game until the script requires them to, and that just kind of pulled me out of the film. Made me think too much about how it worked rather than just track along with the story. Along those same lines, the way the third act plays lays out what's creating the tension and the urgency for the characters to do what they need to do simply isn't how technology actually works. And if you know anything about computers, you go, yeah, that's not what would actually happen. And it pulls you out of the movie. In general, I found myself amused by the entire film, but it also wasn't a movie that made me laugh out loud all that often. It was all highly enjoyable, but it didn't evoke as big of emotions as I think it was going for. It's absolutely a movie I plan on buying and re-watching and I can't wait to show it to my wife, but I thought it was a very good, but not fully great version of the concept. Overall, I'm going with a B plus. On the entertainment scale, it's an eight out of 10. And go see this one on the big screen if you're a fan of video games or Ryan Reynolds. It does have a lot of entertainment and a nice solid heart. If you want more reviews like this one, check out that playlist right over there. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.